So what's this first bit, uh, first few days been like for you? And what is there any advice that you've taken so far that you know, stuck out so far? Um, I mean, ton of advice, ton of things I learned. I mean, from fixing my lines to just simple pass rush things from simple stances. So, yeah, you could say I love Coach Wash, man. He get me right as far as, like, my lines, my aiming points, and just, you know, he coaching me how I want to be coached. What was your interactions like, or what were your interactions like with Wash before you got here? Um, They were great. You know, I would came up here on my top 30 visit, and it was just me and him sit down and ate, and um, it wasn't no dull moments in the conversation. So it was like, you know, he treated me as a person, and – um. Uh, I couldn't have no more respect for him. In the pre-draft process, there was a lot of conversation about the weight, right? Is, is that the weight you want to play at in the NFL? Do you want to get bigger? Right yeah, I lost. So um, during the draft process, I lost about three pounds. I'm usually at 242. That's where I stayed at. That's where I played at for the last two years. So, yeah, that's why I like to play just because I'm more explosive that way and I just get more out of myself. What are you learning about uh, Sean Desai and, and maybe you know how you fit what what he's looking to do? Um, you know, I learned a lot from you know him being at the Bears and how he was going to use me as far as how they rush guys and you know how they do different things and use you know smaller backers like me to just do certain things and show different disguises. So I just can't wait. Um, he's a great great coach and he's real patient. You know, I love patient coaches. Do you have like a, a signature? Pass rushing move, and what is it? Can you describe it? Um, no, I really, I really don't. That's what me and Coach Wash decided to do right now. He come helped me come up with my signature pass rush move. What about the bull rush, sir? The bull rush. The bull rush, yes, sir. I mean, uh, speed to power. You know, that's my, that's my go-to. I set up everything off my speed, though, and um, he's just helping me put more tools in my toolbox, as coaches would say. How he called. You mentioned, you know, I'm not going to be allowed back in Florida to keep trailing on these Georgia guys. You had a great comeback. How'd you have that at the ready that quick? Oh, man, the great comeback, you know, witty, witty South Georgia guys. You know, that's all we do is talk trash to each other. So it was real easy for him, for me to say that too. And especially, I don't really like Florida, not whatsoever. I mean, he's the GM. I mean, you know, it, it's amazing. You know, you got to put your past in your past, but I would never forget. I'm always a Gator hater. I don't care. And now when we spoke to you last was before the Eagles took a window. What are they getting, you know, in, in, in you? Oh, man, just a guy that's most definitely he runs 22 every day, every well. And I'm a fast guy and he's strong. I mean, you can't coach that at corners, just his size and how he moves. And um, I'm just really excited for all our guys for us to be together. And just because, you know, that's what they preach on the Eagles, a connection piece. So I feel like I could push Keely a little bit more just because we won two natties together. So I could talk to Keely a little bit different. Or Jalen could talk to me a little bit different. So it's both vice versa had the chance yet to either talk to or meet Hassan Reddick, and if so, I mean, did you guys kind of talk about, like, you know, your styles of play and everything like that? Um, No, sir, but I can't wait. And um, next Monday I got that date written down on my calendar. Just I don't want to bother him with too many questions because I'm a rookie, so I know my place and know my role. So it might be, you know, a question in a day. Um, write it down, write down a question, and write down his answer. So I just can't wait. Thanks. I can't tell you the first question. So, what's um, Monday? You're just you're meeting with us on Monday, or? Or no, we just we back with the team. But yeah, meeting with I want to meet with him. You know, that's the main reason. And you know, you can always learn. You're supposed to have a growth mindset. Coach Smart taught us that if you think you know everything, then you're just ignorant. Is he the kind of guy that you would like gravitate towards just because you guys, you know? Like, there are a lot of comps between you and him and stuff like that. Uh, yes, sir. And I just feel like, you know, media always knock us on the same thing. You know, certain guys like me and, you know, Von Miller's not knocked on it anymore because he's proven himself. But just guys like us that's just undersized guys, I just want to know, you know, certain things on how he do about his game, how he approaches the game, how does he study. You know, there's so many questions that I got to ask. That's why I told him the first one, you, you wouldn't get it if I ask. A couple more, we'll get Tanner in. How have you dealt with that criticism of your size and, People saying it might not be for that team or this team. Or Only God can judge me. I'm a God-fearing man, and that's what I believe. So long as he on my side and I'm able to work, and I got breath, I got breath in my lungs, then that's what I'm going to do. Now, back to uh, Keeley, uh, what, what do you remember about uh, his uh, game ceiling or interception in that national championship game? Man, I could relive that moment all day. I remember me coming off a pass rush move. I thought I could have dipped more, and all I seen was Keeley going to L. I said, Lord, let him come down with this ball. 
And then he came down with it. And then I realized he ain't going down. I say, oh, yeah, it's time to ride. So, you know, the first first mindset of a defensive player, oh, yeah, I'm about to go catch me a body. I'm about to – somebody about to be lacking. So I ran to the other side just creeping and looking like, who going to be – who going to be mine? Who going to be mine? And um, I just remember Coach Smart yelling, go down. And we like, hell no. We about to let go. We Everybody's saying, no, Keeley, don't go down. And that's just one of those moments like – and I say that's that connection piece just because I'll pull Harlan for Keeley just for what he did for me. And he, he may never know that, like, other than when you ask that. So, man.